everybody, welcome to this week's edition of Walkthrough Wednesday. This week we're going to feature the Raptor that we have in the showroom. This is the 413 model. Um, standing on the outside of it, taking a look, um, what I love is the new updated graphics on the outside. They look really, really cool, especially with the frameless windows. Um, this camper does come with the Onan 5500 watt gas generator in the front. Um, and then you've got your uh, LP tanks here. On the side, you've got storage um, for battery, uh, again, and then your hydraulic controls. Nice pass-through storage for a toy hauler. Um, they do utilize the space very, very well. Um, two very large power awnings on this camper. So you have one here in the front, and then the other one is on the back side of the slide out. While we take a look this way, um, on the outside of here, we have posted our price, um, the weight, which is 15,126 pounds dry weight, and the length is 43 feet, six inches. Also, you've got your outdoor speakers right below that area. And then you've got an additional power awning back here um, on the back side of the slide out. So you have multiple areas that you can entertain outside. This is a tri-axle with um, automatic leveling. Also has the patio option on the back with the stairs and an additional awning power over the back with LED lights as well. So come on on guys, let's take a look inside. All right guys, so standing inside the master bedroom, um, you've got a queen size bed with storage underneath with a couple of really cool things that I like. There are um, little tables on the si each side of the bed with the um, charging ports already uh, here. Plus you have power on both sides, LED lighting throughout, tons of storage above the bed, and then it has the slide out storage over here with cabinets and drawers and additional storage space here for hanging clothes, which is really nice and tall. This does have a TV here in this bedroom as well. And I really love these sliding barn doors. This one goes into the pass-through bathroom. Come on, let's check it out. They've done a really great job with the larger showers with the seats in them and the glass doors. Um, you've got storage above the commode here and porcelain commode. So you can use any type of cleaning products that you'd like with that. I love that you call it a commode instead of a toilet. Why? You're like the only person I know that calls it a commode <laughs> instead of a toilet. I love it. <laughs> also, this is a really cool um, countertop. I like how they've done this. Kind of gives it a little like rustic outdoor type look for your countertop in the bathroom. Drawers and cabinet space there. And then even around this side, you've got storage here as well. It's so one of the things that we hear the most that everybody wants is just additional storage in the bathroom. Come on down this way. This has the in-command control system panel here on the wall. You can control all of your lights, um, slide outs, everything. The really cool feature about that, which most people already know, is there's an app you can download on your phone. So you can actually control everything from either the panel or from your phone outside. I was telling him in a video I did the other day, Nikki, when we took our camper down to Gulf Shores, I had Sarah with me, but I used the app and still ran the slides out just to be safe. It was fantastic. Absolutely, because you can be outside and still see what, like if you're close to a tree, mm -hmm. be able to control everything um, from your phone. So it's really nice. And the other thing too, is you can do your awnings as well, which is nice. So if you're sitting out by the campfire and the wind picks up a little bit, you don't have to come back inside to close that all up. So inside the living area here, um, you've got the kind of L-shaped sectional couch. Um, this one is a recliner. You've got heat and massage. Um, you could sleep someone there if you'd like. It's got the big TV here in your living area with the fireplace, CD, DVD player, and built-in road vacuum system, which comes with the hose and all the attachments. The really cool thing about that is it will reach anywhere inside the camper as well as outside so you can sweep out your tow vehicle if you'd like to do that as well. So you don't have to take any brooms, dustpans, anything with exactly. you. Exactly. Like, that's awesome. Yes. Yes, definitely. Then over here you have your theater seating. Again, um, those have power 
uh, heat and massage in those as well as a light. So it lights up inside the cup holder and a blue light underneath uh, your couch there as well. This one has the double door 18 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator with the freezer up on top. So this box that's in here is your backup camera. So it's already prepped for backup camera. Um, what's really cool about that is not only is it a backup camera, but it's also rear observation. So you can actually turn it on while you're traveling down the road. If you need to change lanes, want to see you know, if someone is close to you, you can do that as well. And it does come with the wireless monitor that mounts in your tow vehicle. Another really cool feature on this one is this pull-out storage. Um, so you can fit a lot of canned goods. Basically, this is your pantry, um, or you can use it for whatever else you'd like to use it for. Spice rack. Spice rack, that would work too. Inside the kitchen area, this is the Peninsula Kitchen. So this does slide over top of your sink. Um, solid surface countertops, um, LED backlighted, You've got a three burner cooktop stove with the glass cover that um, also acts like a backsplash. It does have an oven and you also have a convection microwave, which is really cool. So you can use it for a microwave or a convection oven if you would like. Another cool feature that I like about these, you have your LED lights around your knobs on your stove. If you happen to bump one and you don't realize you've bumped it, it will turn red. So it's a safety feature so you know if somebody has turned something on. You can also turn those lights off if you don't want them. And behind me is the walkthrough half bath back into the cargo area. Again, you've got more storage inside there. But it's really, really nice and accessible from either the garage or the living area. So if someone's hanging out outside, you don't want them to, to go inside the camper. This is right here available for them to use as well. That's really good for, like you said, guests or something that you don't really necessarily want traipsing in and out through your main living area. Exactly. They can walk through the garage and use the commode right there. You can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Above this area here, you've got the loft bed does come with a ladder so it is accessible um, you don't have to just pick somebody up and <laughs> throw them up in that or if you don't you're not going to use that for uh, sleeping area it's great additional storage come on let's check out the garage so inside the garage we have the bed in the down position so it gives you a really great idea of um, how much height you have for the sleeping area back here Plus, both of the couches will fold out and make into beds as well. So there's just roll over the top and you've got these little bars that help to support that when it is in the bed position. So technically, you're sleeping, I mean, these are both queen size beds. So you really can sleep two adults on each one of those if you need that. The really cool thing about this is when you fold those out and you raise them up, that's what does raise up your uh, bed on top. So then this becomes all open, usable space. It does have a TV back here as well. So the Raptors do a really great job of putting, you know, television already in uh, all the usable areas, um, which is really cool too. And behind here is your washer dryer prep. So if you are traveling and using this full time, you could hook up like a stackable washer and dryer or the washer and dryer combo. Um, and you have access to that as well. All right, guys, thank you for joining us this week for Walkthrough Wednesday. As always, if you have any questions or want more additional information, leave a comment down below or feel free to give us a call at 765-533-2288. Have a great day. Beautiful.